Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today's video is the last instalment of the Weapons Crate update reviews. It's been quite a journey so far, we've seen a number of patrol variants, we've annihilated people from close range and we've most importantly experimented. But today is finally the turn of the Enfield Silenced, one of only two weapons so far in Battlefield 1 to have a suppressor. Just to clarify, it's not a silencer as it still makes noise, but using the term silencer is widely accepted, so just pick your favourite. And today, as always, I'll talk you through the stats, how to get the most out of it, and give you my opinion on how good or bad it may be. So if you find this video useful or entertaining, make sure you hit that like button, and if you want to keep up to date with the rest of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button too. So let's get to it. Well today I am happy to tell you that the detailed stats for all the weapons crate guns have finally been added to simthic.com. So if you'd like to know the detailed statistics for those then I'd suggest heading over there and to make your life a little bit easier I've left a link that will take you through to the multi comparison page in the description. But the funny thing is with the Enfield Silenced is that apart from very slight differences in reload time and an extra bullet in the mag after a full reload, it's exactly the same statistically as the M1903. There's also the fire rate which sits at 60 rounds per minute compared to the M1903's 53. But anyway, all of this is good news for those of you that like the M1903 as you'll barely notice the difference between the two guns. Comparing it to the Enfield Infantry though, there are very slight differences in recoil and spread decrease, but again, these stats are at the standard recoil and stat model for most scout rifles so the differences between the two are very slight and I found them pretty much unnoticeable but most importantly which you've seen already the Enfield Silenced has a lens scope making aiming at range considerably easier than its infantry counterpart so where is the Enfield Silence at its best? Well, the one shot sweet spot is a long one starting at 98 meters and going all the way to 150 meters. This is one that I find particularly challenging personally as it's quite tricky to hit targets that aren't stationary at that sort of range. But again, if you're used to the M1903, this shouldn't be a problem. Most importantly with this gun, what does the suppressor add to the Enfield Silenced? Well, quite obviously, it makes it harder for the other team to work out where you are. So if you found yourself a decent vantage point or some good cover, you'll be able to take shots in relative safety and having the lack of an audio cue will make it more difficult for the opposition to counter you. And equally, the risk of getting snuck up on is somewhat reduced as you won't be giving away your position so easily. These benefits are very slight considering that most players rely on sighting the opposition rather than audio cues and it will only really come in handy if you miss a shot on a target. Which sort of begs the question as to why the suppressor was added as I feel like it's more of a novelty than anything. The Enfield Silenced is a decent weapon and you can do some serious work with it, especially if you're used to using the scope variants of the M1903. The switch over between the two is an absolute breeze. But the main advantage is the extra bullet in the mag compared to the M1903. So just for that reason, I'd suggest switching to the Enfield Silenced as they are practically the same weapon. This is all from a console player's perspective though, so it could be very different on PC, which I would like to hear about in the comments if you are a part of the Master Race. But in my experience, the suppressor is just a nice little sheath on the end of your weapon that doesn't add much to the experience, which is nothing to be scoffed at. As the saying goes, don't be a fool, wrap your tool. But that's just what I think. What do you guys make of the Enfield Silenced? Have you got another sniper rifle that's your favourite out of the Weapons Crate update? Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And a quick thank you to those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys that I'm able to upload as often as I do, and you're helping me get a little bit closer to be able to do this full time. So thank you. And if you would like to become a patron yourself, I've left a link to the Patreon page down in the description. I'll also leave one in the pinned comment, and there's a handy little button on the end screen as well, where if you'd like to, you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month. So if you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Make sure sure you've hit the bell button as well for guaranteed notifications of any new videos feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like and until next time that's game over peace